In today's video, we are going to be learning the basics on how to read a simple food label. Now listen, many of you might think, you know what, I know how to read a label. Don't tell me how to read a label. But do you really? Like, do you really get it? And I don't mean that like in a disrespectful, I know everything, you know nothing kind of way. I mean that in a let's continue to lose weight, let's be able to maintain, let's understand what we're eating when we're not counting points. Before we jump in, I just want to take a quick moment to thank our sponsor, Traffic Puzzle. Now, this is a fun game that I like to play. Again, you guys know I'm always on the run, always waiting for clients or waiting between appointments, so I love to have these little games to play. Now, this one, the backstory is that an evil force has made a huge mess on the streets, and there's only one person who can clear those streets, and that is you. So this is like a traffic puzzle. It's free to play, and it's kind of like cars and a puzzle and match three. You kind of drop the cars down, try to match them up so you can release the ambulance so that it can be on its way. And it is, you guys, honestly, I've had a little trouble with getting the ambulance out. So it is a little bit challenging, not too challenging, but it's a little bit challenging. The puzzles get harder and harder as you move along. So as the puzzles get a little bit harder, you've got some police cars and you have fire trucks and it's just very, very fun. So I'm gonna leave a link below. You can download it for free and check it out for yourself. Really a fun game. Now, as many of you know, I am on Weight Watchers and I've been on Weight Watchers now consistently for three years. I did WW Freestyle, I've done some of the other programs. I even have found that little, you know, the thing where you put the, and that is a long time ago. So I have tried it all. And one thing that I know is that if you don't know what you're eating or what you should be eating or what you should be eating in moderation and you don't understand how to read a label, it is a problem. Weight Watchers really taught me that I've got to pay attention. I can't just unconsciously eat things. I can't assume because granola or yogurt or frozen yogurt or gluten-free, you name it, I can't assume that those things are good for me on my diet plan just because they sound kind of like they might be. I really have to know what I'm eating. So again, that is why when I've counted calories in the past, I always say, program proof your program. You know, you have to be able to know what you're eating when points aren't a thing, right? Can we all agree on that? Okay, let's get to this. So I'm just going to pick up a couple things that I eat all the time and we're going to talk about how to read a label. So if you have trouble with this kind of stuff, take notes. I'm going to make this really basic and I really hope it helps you guys. So so if you have questions, hit the pause button, put them down in the comments, and then I will do a follow-up video if there's questions that anybody, you know, if I wasn't on, if I wasn't clear on something. Okay, so this is just gravy. I put a couple tablespoons of this on Idahoan potatoes or something like that, or my turkey tenderloin. So let's talk about the basics. Many of you will ask, what, how much is a serving? Well, it's really, really easy. Here is your label. And on your label, it's going to show you how many servings come in this entire jar. So this one says six. And then it will also tell you how much a serving size is. See that right there? One quarter cup. So when you say how much is a serving, it is one quarter cup of this. So when Weight Watchers, in case you didn't know this, is giving you your points, one serving is this. It's one quarter cup. So if you have a half cup of this, then you're going to have double the points. Does that make sense? Now, let's come down here a little bit further. How many calories are in this? There's 30 calories in your one serving of a quarter cup. That makes sense, right? Pretty easy. Now, let's take it a step further. On my channel a lot, we've been talking about carbohydrates. Here are your total carbs in one serving, which is a quarter cup. So you've got three total carbs. And a lot of times you guys will hear me talk about net carbs. Net carbs are when you pull the fiber out. That's what I do is net carbs because fiber is good for you. I want to continue to eat fiber. Now this particular product has no fiber in it. So the total carbs for me 
even under net carbs would be three. For how much? That is absolutely correct. One serving, which is how much? One quarter cup. So we all got that. Now let's keep with this gravy. Here are, this is your list of everything that is in this product. Now I don't know if you guys knew this, many of you probably did, but the first ingredient listed is the most of what is in this product. So this says chicken stock. So this is made mainly of chicken stock. Now, why do, and then it just kind of continues to line down and the last item is the last sort of thing or the least amount. What is the least amount? Soy, lecithin, whatever the heck that is. So a lot of times when we're looking th for things like MSG or a derivative of that would be like yeast extract, which is like a really close sister, like a twin sister to MSG. I get migraines every now and again, and a trigger for me is one of those two things, MSG or yeast extract, so I avoid those. Now, I can have it in very low moderation, but a lot of it, I cannot. Like Chinese food, I kind of avoid because, yes, you can order it MSG-free, but do they really do that? Do they really do that? I don't know. So I avoid that. But again, all you're going to do is read the label and look for it. Really, really simple. Now, you might be thinking, okay, I get it. That helps. But how, what happens when I go off points? What do I do? How do I make that make sense when I go off points? Well, if you're counting calories, so if you do, if you go on any basic little calorie counter app, any of that, it'll tell you an estimate of how many calories you should eat to be in a calorie deficit. We've already established, we've talked about this in many past videos, that Weight Watchers, if you are on WW, you are eating a low-fat low calorie diet. That is just the truth of the matter. So if you want to focus on that, we already talked about where to find the calories. So I'm just doing a, just a basic pasta here. So 200 calories, right? But how much can I eat for 200 calories? You guys know the answer, right? I hope you're yelling it out. Serving size, two thirds cup. Oh, but this one's tricky. Is it dry or is it cooked? That I feel is kind of a personal choice. But for me, this is mastacholi. How are we? I, I can't really put that in, a, you know, a two-thirds cup. I might get like five of them. For me on pasta, I always do it cooked. So I might cook a half a pound of this. So I just pour out half the box. And then if I want to have a serving of pasta, it's cooked. Now I get out my two-thirds or better yet. Remember what we talked about. You could weigh it and you're done. So if you're counting calories, you know that that two-thirds cup is 200 calories. Now let's just pretend, let's pretend this is sauce. Let's say this is a little jar of ragu. And you're like, well, hold on, Barrett, though. What about when I add, what about when I add my pasta sauce? If you want to be really, you know, if you want to do it easy, like I know most of us put the sauce over the pasta and mix it in, but not everybody does. And the easier way to do it, if you're just learning, let's say you're going to say, all right, I've got my serving. I like a lot of sauce on my pasta. I'm going to do a quarter cup. We're going to pretend this is ragu. So we would just go, okay, quarter cup is 30 calories. Get our quarter cup out, pour that over our pasta. So how much do we have here? 230 calories we just ate. So, and that's low, you know, that's very low for a meal. If that's what you had, you of course would want to add a side salad and everything else. And I've mentioned this to you guys before many times, but you can go on my fitness pal. That's a free app. And that will track all this for you and do all of this for you. You can go on carb manager if you're focusing on carbs, but there are many, many ways if you have want to have life after Weight Watchers that you can carry on and keep yourself on track and not have to be counting points as long as you have a clear understanding of what you're eating. So I hope that this little very basic how to read a label helped you guys. Let me know in comments below if you found it helpful or if you have any questions and you want me to do a follow -up.